Hey Tankheads, what's up? It's Rusty here and today we're gonna take a look at the graphics settings for low-end PCs and laptops. So some of the stuff is explained in this video what these tabs do and should you like use them or not use them. Will they affect your performance or will they not? And if you're an older owner of the Monster Gaming PC you probably won't much find much information in this video but there might be some stuff you want to take into consideration while thinking about your actual gaming not so much of the performance of the game so if you're interested on those things just stick around I'm just gonna go through these settings real quick and these settings are for laptop ASUS 72X D or D, I can't remember it correctly. It's a fairly old laptop, but with these settings and a program called What Tweaker, which shuts down pretty much everything in the game, we are able to get like enjoyable gameplay from World of Tanks. And about that What Tweaker, I'm not gonna go it over in this video because it has some issues with some of the virus detection programs. I don't want to endorse anything like that. I don't want my uh, comment section in this video to be filled with the fact that okay this and this and this and gives me information it says it had three Trojans you have infected my machine like stuff so I just say that there's a program called What Tweaker go check it out in Google and install it if you want to and just turn everything off once you install it that should give you better performance or world tanks that's about that and let's just go see the stuff here so we're in settings in general tab and what we are looking is optics in sniper mode post effect in post modern and enable dynamic camera obviously if you want to see who shot you you can put this on but it's all the same so I have optics effect in sniper mode on, you can take that off, it doesn't affect that much and even the post effect, I mean this is something, it doesn't matter anymore because you're dead so use it if you want to use it. But the main thing here is the, the dynamic camera and this is more of a gameplay thing, not so much of a performance thing. But if you don't have it, the, the, there's some more added realism to the game. The gun bounces when you shoot and stuff like that, and it's, it's, the gun is more wobbly. And, and so, what you if if you don't like that, if you just want to be able to take those snapshots uh, more accurately and stuff, you can just put these on, enable dynamic camera, and put the horizontal stabilization in sniper mode, and you should be more able to put those snapshots in faster pace and not waiting to gun to actually reposition itself but what, what some people have complained that if you have these on especially the dynamic camera on it makes the camera in in sniper mode floaty and and, and it just takes the realism away from the game so you want to just you know experience this for yourself and just decide I think I have this on on my EU account and uh, I get, I'm used to it, so it's it's no big deal for me. But you you just want to use that for yourself. But let's go just to the care graphics, and the, the first thing you want to do is you want to use the SD client of this game because it's it already is more set up to run the low end stuff. And graphics quality is obviously it shows custom because I've already you know tinkered with these, but the first thing you want to do is just tap this recommended tab and see what it gives you and then just go go and tinker with the tabs so you can get the best possible performance and enjoyable experience for your PC or laptop and let's just go over so it's just a 3D render resolution so obviously what what's the relation of your native resolution and the 3D how how it's gonna be but I always have it on dynamic so I just let the game decide uh, what it wants to do in different situations because it's measuring the performance so it just adjusts the rendering 
according to that so it's all good I just leave it on one thing you want to do is you have a low-end PC or laptop is to put the screen resolution as low as possible and just determine you can switch these <coughs> refresh rates here if like let's say that your native resolution is something else and you want to run this run this on low and you should determine for a monitor which refresh rate you want to use or optionally you can just put vertical synchronization on that should reduce the screen tearing but this is something that has the cap limit on 60 so it's if you wanna tinker around with this you should take this off I never use like vsync because uh, I don't want my PC to do any extra work in my gaming and I'm always playing with the same resolution that my you know desktop is full HD but if you have a low-end PC and you want to go lower than your native resolution as desktop you might want to like play in windowed mode or if you use a wolf full screen you want to might use this obviously you know stuff like triple buffering it's not good for your uh, performance in your game so never never put that on anti-aliasing is the option it's the system that smoothens the edges around objects but to me it looks just it just makes the game look blurry I don't have anti-aliasing on on any of the games I play I just I just I don't like it and obviously you shouldn't like it when you're playing on a low performance machines it affects the performance so just take that off and probably that is off already if you have used it, the recommended button field of view they say that the natural field of view for a human is 95 degrees I really don't know about that and they also say that this shouldn't be affecting the gameplay performance which is weird because almost in every other game it does but in World of Tanks it shouldn't but I do not know so if you have issues you want to see things uh, closer and stuff like that just decrease that and if you have a wider angle of looking at things just put that de increase that but I'm just thinking that if you increase this there's more a lot more stuff on your screen that game needs to render so I'm not so sure that the, it doesn't affect your performance obviously you can put on a dynamic so it puts like this range you can use but pff, I just keep it on default gamma obviously it's like the brightness in this game and if you're using multiple monitors you can choose which one to use and these are pre self explaining aspect ratio and this is a new feature interface scaling and it's undergoing testing so we don't we don't talk about that obviously colorblind blind mode for people that need that it helps a lot color filters up uh, it's basically a uh, you can have different kinds of filters to use uh, like like old that the game looks old or game has you know more depth and you know stuff like that but nah I don't want that so obviously in this this it's only uh, I think it's only like if you use improved graphics anyhow so it, we need to use like the standard so we don't need to uh, actually be worried about that I'm just, but I'm just gonna show you what it is so it's uh, you can put like these kind of filters that the game looks old or it has more contrast or softness or something like that but I never experienced with that so I don't know okay so let's show go and see the details so if you use recommended settings this is pr pretty much the, the thing you see and you want to use the standard edition of graphics I can't remember the patch they implemented this but when when it came out and after that there was like standard which is like kind of like for the low old machines 
and improved and they say that the improved version of the graphics would be switching and distributing the load between CPU and GPU more effectively but what it actually did is on my old laptop which I was able to play tanks really well it shut down the game for me altogether so so that's about that and if as we are talking about low-end graphics settings here you just want to keep it on standard because that helps you with the tinkering because it shuts down most of the options you can even tinker with so it's it's makes it easier so everything here is just you know taxi quality is low I mean how the stuff looks how the surfaces look and stuff like that it's just on low and you know lightning shadows flora density and post processing which means like fog and other cool stuff they're just taking off you can't even switch them on on standard edition you can do dexter quality you can tinker with that you can, but the main thing is just you go low first and um, extra effects quality are like you know the you know sparks and smoke and you know ricochet and stuff like that that you wanna you see in the game when you when you're engaging uh, battle and stuff like that it's obviously it's it's not always present in the game so you wanna you might wanna tinker a bit with this if you want some extra stuff in your game but the safest bet is just to take them off at first and just then after that just go see where the sweet spot is where it looks a bit better but it doesn't affect your performance that much but for instance you you would like wonder that if you're like in Himmelsdorf and you're in the hill and this big cluster of tanks engaging a brawl and everybody is shooting and things are flying around in the air and everything is floating and stuff like that it will affect your FPS in a pretty drastic way and in that situation you wouldn't want that to do so you just need to take it with these and see where the best fit is for you let's just go on forward and obviously the standard version just gives you the option for terrain to be minimum or low so uh, there's not much difference between minimum and low view wise so I just keep it on minimum and take the performance water quality is on low on default on standard graphics so obviously decals and this is something uh, that affects how the object will appear on and how distance is but this is also something you want to just keep it here and try to work your way up if you feel like it but I just keep it there folias quality I mean trees bushes stuff like that I mean the lowest point actually manages to draw the stuff in a way that I can recognize that there's a bush and a tree so I just keep it low but the only thing you want might want to consider if you're on a low end PC and you should take everything off is the first thing you want to like start tinkering with is to draw distance because this draws stuff as you can see you know you know features buildings vehicles and you know objects and it effects on your decision making and stuff like that in the game so <clears throat> sorry this is something you want to tinker with at first and see whether whether performance takes the dip and just keep it there or a bit low but yeah the draw distance is is pretty important to my mind I mean some some say that ah I just don't mind just keep it on low or I just keep it on maximum whatever but this is something you wanna explore maybe the first just check everything off and explore with this one motion blur effect is off on standard graphics I don't use it even on improved I just hate the motion blur because every game they do the motion blur it just overdone every time it just it's annoying and I just keep it off so it's it's all good um, you can use this dynamic change of effects quality so which lets your game decide to how to adjust but as you can see that everything is pretty much off 
or low to even run the game so there's actually no point of using that so let's just leave that B and obviously standard version shuts down the grass in sniper mode and you don't want to use the track effects I mean it's obviously it's pretty cool to see stuff flying from the back of your tracks when you drive but you just want to keep that off and save that rendering to your terrain also and standard version doesn't even allow you to put the track races on the game so that's good and the foliage transparency is something you want to try out if you take it off it will make the bushes and stuff completely invisible around you and it kind of like you know affects the gameplay just you just want to you know keep that on and try it out and see if it works for you everything else is just not so performance wise the reticle is always you use what you use but I mean a lot of people want to use like custom reticles and stuff and if you're running a low end PC or laptop you want to be really careful on the mods you install in the game because the mods are notorious for affecting your FPS and performance so you might want to take that into account and maybe just use the basic reticle in the game and we're just gonna take a look at the marker at last obviously if you have all this stuff in here it's gonna mean it's the game has to do some more work so what I want to do is I just gonna I'm just gonna usually use just the name of the tank to show and indicate what I'm facing so that's about that so this is pretty much you know everything about I want to do the graphic settings in this game and I already mentioned the what tweaker use it on your own discretion it should help you to further decrease the load on your system to even run the game so that's about that. Hope you'll, hopefully you like this video. If you like, just tap that like button. Uh, if you like my content, just subscribe to the channel. It helps me a lot to make videos for you guys. And this is it. Graphics in World of Tanks. And I'll see you guys the next time.